it then? Well, take Hamlet to the English king, we hand over the letter, then what? We make something in the letter to keep us going. And if not, then that's it. We're finished. Are loose set? Yes. Are there likely to be loose ends? Who is the English king? That depends on when you get there. <laughs> <laughs> of loyalty, asking of favors, calling in of debts, obscure promises balanced by vague threats. <laughs> to promise it, regardless of the fact. And about him? Oh, yes. And us? Hold back. I should say so. So we've got a letter which explains <coughs> everything. You've got it. What's the matter? The letter. Have you got it? Have I? Where would I have put it? <laughs> you know, I lost it. I must have. That's all. I thought he gave it to me. Perhaps he did. But you were so sure it was you who hadn't got it. It was me who hadn't got it. But if you never gave it to you in the first place, I don't see what all the fuss is about you not having it. It is confusing. <laughs> <laughs> this whole thing is getting rather undisciplined. Folk, night, sense of isolation and uncertainty, all these induce a loosening of the concentration. You mustn't lose control. Tight now. Now, either you've lost the letter, or the king never gave it to you in the first place. In which case, he gave it to me. In which case, I would have put it into my inside top pocket. In which case, it will be here. We mustn't drop off like that again. Now that we have found it, why were we looking for it? We thought we were lost. <laughs> Something else? No. Now we've lost the tension. What tension? What was the last thing I said before we wanted it off? When was that? I can't remember. What a shambles! We're just not getting anywhere. Not even the angle. I don't believe in it anyway. What? Anyway. Just a conspiracy of cartographers? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I don't believe in it. I have no image. I try to picture its arrival. A harbor, perhaps. Roads, and happens to point the way. Horses on the road, riding for a day and a fortnight, and then the palace and the English king. That would be a logical kind of thing. But my mind remains a blank. Slipping off the map. Yes. yes, but you don't believe anything until it happens. And it all has happened. We might as well be dead. Do you think death could possibly be a boat? No, no, no. Death is not. Death isn't. Do you take my meaning? Death is the ultimate thing, not being. You can't not be on a boat. I've frequently not been on a boat. No! The <laughs> 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 is not on boats. I wish I was dead. <laughs> you could jump over the side. That would put a spoke in their wheel. Unless they're counting on I shall remain on board. <laughs> <laughs> that would put a spoke in their wheel. All right, we don't question. We don't doubt. We perform. But a line must be drawn. And I would like to put it on record that I have no confidence in England. Thank you. <laughs> and even if it's true, it'll just be another shamble. I don't see why. You won't know what we're talking about. What are we going to say? We say... Your Majesty, we have arrived. And who are you? We are Rose and Prance and Gibbons. Never heard of you. Well, we're nobody special. What's right? your game? We have our instructions. First, let me finish. We're <coughs> from Denmark. What do you want? Nothing. We're delivering cannons. Who's he? You've heard of him. Oh, I've heard of him, all right, and I want nothing to do with it. <laughs> you march in here without so much as a by your leave and expect me to take in every lunatic you try to pass off with a lot of unsubstantiated work. I see. I see. Well, this seems to support your story such as it is. It is an exact command from the King of Denmark for several different reasons. Importing Denmark's help and England's too. That's on the reading of this letter, without delay, I should have Hamlet's head cut off. is going down. It'll be nice. Do you think so? I was just making conversation. <laughs> <laughs> but it's right. How do you know? From our young age, but I only have their word for it. That's what we depend on. Well, yes. Let it get up. Let us keep things in proportion. Assume and 
life, they're going to kill him. Well, he is a man, he is mortal, death comes to us all, etc., and consequently he would have died anyway, sooner or later. Or, to look at it from a social point of view, he is but one man among many. The loss would be well within reason and convenience. And what is so terrible about death? As Socrates so philosophically put it, since we don't know what death is, it is a logical theory. It could be very nice. <laughs> Certainly, a release from the burden of life and to the godly, a haven and a reward. Or, to look at it another way, we are little men. We don't know the ins and outs of the situation. There are wheels within wheels, etc. It would be presumptuous of us to interfere with the design of fate, or even kings. All in all, we'd be well advised to leave well alone. High up the letter. Like that. They won't notice the broken seal, assuming you are in character. But well, what's the point? Don't apply logic. He's done nothing or to justice. Oh, well, but it could have been worse. I was beginning to think it was. Good night. Physician, as I see it, then. We, Rosencrantz and Guildenstern, from our young days brought up with him, were summoned by a man standing on his saddle to bang on the shutters, our son, and arrived, and are instructed to draw him on to pleasures and glean what afflicts him. Pleasures include a play, which, unfortunately, as it turns out, is abandoned in some confusion owing to certain nuances outside our appreciation, which, among other causes, results in, among other effects, a high, not to say, homicidal excitement in Hamlet. 